Hi everybody, Marty Parks here welcoming you to another Word digital reading session. You know, from the very first moment that, um, that God created the universe, from the beginning of time, from, from the first light that broke forth, he infused his work with wonder. That was his signature. His handiwork was signed with wonder. He wouldn't be content with just the ordinary and, and he was not going to be satisfied with what was mundane. And, and when he set out to rescue his fallen people, you and me, well that's a story that's um, filled with wonder. And that's the thing behind um, Celebrate the Wonder, this new musical from Simply Word. My task was this, to assemble some songs from a variety of arrangers and, and create a storyline that, that explores the wonder, not only of God's creation, but the wonder of His plan for salvation. You know, there's the wonder of His promised arrival. There's the wonder of His proclaimed appearance. Then there's the wonder of His presence among us, and finally the wonder of His preeminent authority. And that's, that's what we explore in this musical. It's simply words, so you know it means there's a lot of unison, there's a lot of accessible four-part writing, but mostly it's a celebration of the wonder. want to play some clips for you, let you see a little bit about what this is. Here comes the opener called Come Celebrate. song of the redeemed. Come celebrate the wonder of Christmas. Jesus is born, Noel, Noel. Come worship Him, our God in a manger. Come celebrate. See, I told you I love Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Uh, I'm not sure Come the Long Expected Jesus has ever been set that way before. Hey, by the way, a couple of things I want to be sure you're aware of. Um, Celebrate the Wonder has uh, a, a narration that ties it all together. That's what you'd hear on the, on the recording. And there's also an optional drama sketch in the back of the book. Easy to get doesn't call for a large cast, but for some of you, that's more appropriate, more exciting, more challenging than just the single narrator. Either one of them works great. And I also want you to know that uh, there's the orchestration, which you would uh, expect. Uh, there's an accompaniment CD, which you would expect. But there's also an accompaniment DVD that goes along with Celebrate the Wonder. Um, really great graphics. Uh, really visually stunning in what it adds to the performance uh, of this work. Uh, so I hope those are of interest to you. You'll look at each option, figure out how this would work best for you. Stuart Town and, and uh, the Gettys, Keith and Kristen, have uh, provided the church in recent years with um, some solid material, some resources that we use with choirs, we use them with congregations. Uh, Fullness of Grace is one of those. Um, you may not know the song yet, but um, it's rich in its theological depth, but it's very Christmassy uh, in its application. It's perfect for uh, inclusion in Celebrate the Wonder, and it's the second song in the musical. So here's Fullness of Grace. Fullness of hope in Christ we have longed for. Promise of God in Jesus. Through His obedience we are forgiven, opening the floodgates of heaven. All of our hopes and dreams we Joy unspeakable. 
Come the Long Expected Jesus uh, is next. Um, this is one of the arrangements I got to do, and three reasons that, that I'm really excited about this. One is this, uh, a classic Charles Wesley text, Come the Long Expected Jesus. We, we all know that. There's an additional verse included in this arrangement. And then um, a melody that you know, but you may not associate necessarily with this text, kind of driving, kind of upbeat. The third reason I'm excited about this arrangement is this. I love Trans-Siberian Orchestra. Good news, big, bold, anthemic arrangement. Um, two solos in it, uh, kind of symbolizing the angels, you know, in their, in their proclamation. Uh, then the choir joins in. Here it is, fear not, good news. Fear not, good news, great joy for all people. Fear not, good news, a Savior Christ is born. Well, Adore Him is next. Um, sweet, gentle, poignant little ballad from some great songwriters. And, and the attractive part of this is there are just, just enough phrases of, O oh, come, let us adore Him, in this that um, make it recognizable and seem like an old friend, though it's a new song. But it recounts the story of um, what the Magi or the wise men might have seen when they encountered the infant Jesus for the first time. Beautiful song, think you're gonna love it. Here's Adore Him. Countless days on a journey that led so far. Endless nights they travel to follow the star. Searching for a king, but finding a child, no crown, no throne. Still they bow down. Come, let us adore you. Oh, come, let us adore you. Oh, come.
Well, now we come to the celebration of um, his preeminent authority. You know, the, the baby in the manger is also the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. The baby in the manger is also the King of kings and the Lord of lords. Um, and that's part of the wonder of this story that we celebrate. Um, and here's the point that we do it. Here's King Jesus is his name. People of God, celebrate the wonder of his preeminent authority. Now we come to the, um, what I call the so what moment. We've heard this story, we've sung about it. So what? What, is it, what does that mean to me? Well, you know, Christmas is um, the perfect time uh, for evangelism. It's, it's the ideal time to bring uh, friends in, to bring seekers in, uh, if for no other reason than to see their friend or their neighbor sing and perform in a musical. And, you know, God can work wonders in that sort of thing. And, um, and allow them to hear this, this message. So Christ be born in you is really that, um, that invitation moment, that commitment moment, that challenge moment, uh, where, where the so what question is answered. We had an event over 2,000 years ago, so what? The answer is in this song, Christ be born in you. Could be any It could be any night, but this could be the night divine, and this could be the once in time to all who seek and all. The last choral arrangement in this book is the finale. Uh, a reprise of the opener, Come Celebrate, just kind of wraps things up. You know, we started with Come Celebrate, we end with Come Celebrate, just kind of makes little bookends for the whole piece. Up, festive, um, again, celebrating the wonder uh, of Jesus. So here's Come Celebrate, the finale.
Hey, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening as we worked our way through Celebrate the Wonder. I hope maybe it finds a place in your ministry this year um, as you celebrate the wonder of His promised arrival, His proclaimed appearance, His presence among us, and mostly His preeminent authority. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. God bless you.